Hey guys, it's the Hurried Hostess here, and today I've got a delicious French bread recipe for you. It's homemade, it's only six ingredients, and it only takes about three hours to complete. So first you're gonna put together one cup of warm water. It should be anywhere between 110 and 120 degrees. To that, you're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar, and then one yeast packet. You'll let that sit for about five minutes or until it's foamy. Next, you're gonna put two cups of flour into your mixer bowl and two tablespoons of oil. And one and a half teaspoons of salt. You'll add your yeast mixture, and then with your dough hook attachment on your mixer, you'll just turn it on and let it go. Once it's mixed pretty well, you're gonna add one more cup of flour to the mixture. Get that all in there and then mix it until it's well combined. It will start to pull away from the sides and when it's completely pulled everything all together and you have a clean bowl, you're ready to go. So next you're gonna take it out of your mixer and you're just gonna knead it. For about five minutes or so, you'll just kind of work with it with your hands on a clean countertop. Just pushing it back and forth and kneading it all to mix it all together. And to prepare a bowl, you'll just spray it with a little bit of cooking spray and you'll put your dough right in the bottom of the bowl and then flip it over and cover it with plastic wrap. Now we're gonna start the proofing process. So you'll want to set the bowl in a warm place for about an hour. After the hour is passed, you will take the plastic wrap off of your bowl, you'll punch it down, and then replace the plastic wrap and let it sit for another 30 minutes. Meanwhile, you'll get out your egg and whisk it until it's fully combined. This is gonna be used later to put on our loaf to make it nice and crispy on the outside. All right, so after it's done proofing, you're going to get it out and you're gonna roll this into a large rectangle. So you just get your rolling pin and roll it to all about the same width and length all the way across. And after you have that how you'd like it, you're going to take one end and you're going to gently roll it up on itself. So it's called like a jelly roll technique. Just roll it, roll it, roll it all the way up on itself. You'll then put it on your prepared baking sheet and you'll take the ends and just tuck them under. We just don't wanna see where the ends of the rolls are. Next, you'll take that same plastic wrap, you'll cover it up again, and then let it sit for another 30 to 60 minutes in a warm place again. Once that's near completed, you will preheat your oven to 375 degrees, and you'll take the plastic wrap off. You'll take your egg wash and just baste it all over the top of and sides of your bread. This is gonna give it a nice color and texture when it bakes. And after you have that completed, you're gonna take a serrated knife and just score the top of it all the way across. This will help it when it expands in the oven. So now you're gonna bake it
And then there you go, your finished loaf. You might wanna make sure to uh, let it cool before you cut it or else it'll kind of fall apart like mine is here. But that's okay, it still tastes good. So you can use it to make sandwiches or you can dip it in the herb and olive oil mix like I have here or just eat it with a little bit of butter on it. But I hope you liked this video and if you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to this channel.